There is a secret crime that many individuals across the United States don't talk about. Every single day in America, hardworking, trusting, and honest people lose thousands of dollars totaling up to $143 million a year. Welcome to Scanford. On this episode of Scamfish, we spoke to a woman named Stephanie O'Neill from New York. Stephanie met a man that she was talking to on Instagram, and they built a relationship online that lasted almost a year. But Stephanie felt that something was off. Stay tuned to find out on this episode of Scamfish whether it was true love or a true fake. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We really appreciate all the support. Let's see what Stephanie has to say. So you were talking to a gentleman named Forrester, and this uh, started about a year ago. But before we talk about that, Stephanie, let's talk about kind of what led up to the point that you had talked to this person. What was your dating life like before that and what made you uh, want to meet somebody online? Really wasn't dating anybody. He just showed up on my Instagram. When Forrester originally got in contact with you, what were the conversations like? You know, what was his initial conversation like and, and how did things progress? He said hello. He asked me how I was doing. He said it was beautiful. And then we started talking about military and he said he had a daughter. And he said that he had a hard life, that his parents were separated. We would talk about his hard life, my hard life, his daughter, and how his daughter was getting bullied at school. And he felt bad because they were divorced and he put his daughter in boarding school. What kind of progressed from there? Did you start to feel like start to feel emotions for this this person? After like a month, I started getting very close to him because we started talking about everything. And then I started talking to his daughter because he at that point he's like, oh, I want you to talk to my daughter because she's having a very hard time. She doesn't like being in boarding school, and I want her to meet you. So I would email her. He was like, for us to forget, progress, I want you to have a bond with her too. First time he asked me for money was when he had the RPG attack and he lost his gun. That was the beginning of August, so it was like a month later. And he said that because of his level, he needed to pay for his weapon. He's, he's like terrified because he's like, my command is gonna kill me because I've lost my weapon. So you started doubting at this point. You're like, something's going on. I said, something's going on. I said, you don't have to pay for your weapon. I said, one, you're gonna get in super trouble, but because depending on your rank, you're gonna get extra duty, or you're gonna get discharged. I said, that, I said, you, unless you're negligent, you don't pay for your, your weapon. It said, there's something, you're lying to me. He was, why are you lying to me? I'm not lying to you. I, I, I would never lie to you. It, it said, I want your badge. He gave me his badge, it was wrong, so I questioned him. Then I went to Western Union. Well, the name he gave me first was to somebody in London. So I, they said, why the hell would we pay for a weapon? Why would a weapons keeper be in London? Yeah. And that's right to begin with. So then he gave me somebody in Pennsylvania. So he totally changed who you were going to send it to after you questioned him and then, and then had you send money to Pennsylvania. Stephanie, wh and you had to be questioning the whole time. What made you want to send money at that point? I told you what Article 15 said. It said, why are you bullshitting me? What does Article 15 say? Article 15 says anybody over sergeant major can get an honorable discharge or extra duty. Anybody under sergeant major will lose a week's pay. Although Stephanie was familiar with the way the military worked, the scammer still managed to dupe her out of $200,000 before she fully caught on to what was going on. Our search specialist found that the scammer was running the whole scam from Nigeria. So you have all these doubts. What made you still want to send money after having these doubts? He, for a long time, was really good and not bullshitting. And then 
he started bullshitting again. So when he first started asking for money, because it sounds like you're fairly savvy. You know, you, you understand how the military works. You, you checked into all these different stories, but it, it sounds like, you know, against your better judgment, at least initially, like you had these feelings for the person. So maybe you ignored some of the signs, you know, from the get go. Am I right? Yeah. He had already given me my ring and they had picked out my dress. Yeah. My ring, he gave me my ring. Yeah, I had picked out my dress. And so this ring that, did he actually send you a ring or he had showed you? He showed me my ring. We were gonna go get, pick it up in Charleston. Wow. And so you've really developed this, like, I mean, to the point where you're you're getting married at this point. Yeah, you know, yeah. love this guy. Plan the whole wedding. And so even like bridesmaids and and location and everything else. We were gonna get married at Citadel. We were gonna do pink and green because pink is her favorite color and one of my favorite colors, green for the army and from in honor of my grandparent, my grandfather and my father because they were in the army in the Citadel because it's military. And so he. He like he was part of these decisions. It sounds like. I mean, he was giving you feedback and, and telling you what he wanted. Yeah. yeah. No, both of us, because we would do it together. Oh wow. What what made you start questioning things and saying this is not right? Was it from the get go and you kind of just ignored it because of love, or was it was there one thing that just really set you over the top? Questioned him on something he didn't know, and he didn't he couldn't answer me. I went to go and join one of the military um, girlfriend, spouse, fiance groups. Oh, so and you're, they, you're joining a group for military spouses even. And it's like a support group. And I happened to find one that one of the admins knew him. What went through your mind at that point? Like when you, when they said they know him and you had, it sounded like you had, you had doubts leading up to this. You have all these doubts and you kept drilling him and, and asking him questions and maybe ignoring some of the, the signs, but when they said that, like what went through your mind? Like, I mean, you're so in love with them that you picked everything out, you know, for your wedding. Like what went through your mind at that point? Ballistic, ballistic. Yeah. I, I, I like, I turned bright red and I went freaking bananas. Thankfully I was home by myself. Cause I, I was, I started screaming. And Stephanie, did you talk to anybody else about this relationship while it was going on, friends or family or coworkers? My girl, the girl that sits next to me, she saw the phone when it came back. She called me a moron because it came back and it came back to my office. Mm. She, goes, she goes, why the would you do something so stupid? So I said to her, if you had a friend with his daughter in another country and you can't get in touch with her and she has no home, would you do the same thing? What about dating? I mean, have you have you gone online dating or anything like that or you just... My girlfriend next door, she wants me to go on to match. So people are gonna watch this, Stephanie, and you're gonna get all people's opinion. I will say never read the YouTube comments, you know? I don't even read the YouTube comments, you know? Um, but, I mean, you're gonna get people on all ends of the spectrum, people that you know have been through your exact same situation, that are very educated people, that you know are savvy people and have done the exact same thing that you've done. And there's people that you know have never even been close to this. They got married when they were younger. They've never even knew that this was out there. You know, some people are gonna be like, you're silly for giving that much money. What message do you have for them or, or to help them just understand like what you've been through. I gave all that money because I thought I was in a relationship with a real person and we were going to invest it for his, for his retirement. And now I know better. It was a tough lesson, you know, Very tough lesson. now I don't trust anybody or anything. Question everything they say. They ask you for an iTunes card, or they give you a military badge. Question it. That's a tough time. It's a lot of money to lose in a short period of time, and 
and and you've been through some uh, and probably your own words you've been through some shit, huh yeah i mean all i can say is like best of luck and, and it was really nice talking to you and hearing your story i truly hope this helps some people out and and i know some people are going to have different opinions about you or about this story um but even if it can educate one or two people i mean that's that's even worth it all right okay. all right bye stephanie bye. Nice, nice talking to you